So I have with me here today the first original Ozma Action as well as a brand new Ozma Action 2. Today is my very first impressions video. I've watched plenty of reviews on this thing already on, on YouTube. No one's explained what this dot is. Um, I don't know if that's like a IR sensor or if it's like, it has to be some sort of sensor. I just don't know what it is. It just, I don't know, it, it looks weird just it sticks out my first initial impressions is wow this thing is tiny this thing is unbelievably tiny compared to the original Osmo um, I only have the Osmo action I don't have any of the GoPros uh, this came out a few years ago and I immediately hopped on it no more GoPro GoPro now has the GoPro 10 but I uh, I went with the action too before I do anymore I have to take this jacket off it's <laughs> it's November 3rd as I'm filming this and it, it it's still like 70 75 degrees outside I have a big giant jacket on so this is just an impressions video right now it's not a full review I so far just have the camera itself I don't have any of the uh, other accessories that I want to get I want to get some ND filters um, there's a cage I'm gonna show it right here this thing tilde tilde cage I saw it in my recommended uh, websites and they just announced that they're making this amazing shockproof cage for both the Action 2 itself as well as the, the screen combo combined as well as they're coming out with a bunch of filters, ND filters, polarized filters. So when they announce that I do want to get that. I do have some ND filters for the Action, for the, uh, action 1. I do kind of want to compare that, compare this camera obviously to this camera but I'm going to include the filters onto this. No filters on this one, but I just want to get this, give this one a little fair, fair chance of like what I should be expecting if I get filters on this one. One of the big selling points about this, this camera is that it's magnetic on the bottom. Bottom of here, there's magnets. Some of the mounts that this thing comes with has some magnets on there and it just kind of clicks into place like that. Some little hinges right there, lock it into place, even though you just put it on there by magnets. It's not. It's not coming off unless you squeeze both these and boom, it comes off. So I like that. That's pretty cool that they decided to put these little clips in there. The downside that a lot of people have been talking about with this camera is that the fact that this unit itself does not have an SD card slot. I don't know how I feel about that. Because of the operating system inside this, you actually only get like 22.4 gigs, which is a little annoying because that's not enough for 4k video what you do need in order to use an SD card a micro SD card is either the battery pack or the extra screen that comes with either of the two combos that they sell now and I got the screen one on this unit itself there's the screen right there as well as the or USB C charge port is right there and then the micro SD card slot is right in there there's your golden contact points right there on the bottom of the camera you have your golden contacts and then they just come together like that and again same thing with the little clips so they're they're not coming apart so when you have them coupled together like this in order to use the micro SD card you do have to go into the settings right here and go from internal swipe over to your SD card you hit that and you switch to your SD card. Now, when I have 4K24, it says I have 105 gigs on my SD card. Enough talking. Um, let's show some comparisons between the Action 2 and the original Action with some ND filters. for comparison this is an audio test for this camera Osmo action this is the audio of the original Osmo action I'm standing at roughly like four feet away see how the audio is on that one action 2 this is the audio from the action 2 how does it sound like 
Is it good? Am I loud enough? How does the audio compare? How do they sound? Do they sound comparable at all? Are they... We'll see. I haven't been recording that long. I have heard that there are issues of overheating, feeling it right now after doing the, um, the slow motion test. It's a little warm, but I mean, it's also really hot out right now. Not like really hot, but like I'm on pavement and there's sun everywhere, but I really like it. And I think for me, it's gonna be sick. The portability of being able to just have this is gonna be amazing for me, as well as wanting extra battery and more storage being that easy like that's just super simple and i can't wait till i get that tilde case with the nd filters because this one obviously i have this cool nd filter that's magnetic so it just pops up like that on the action one i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one